I've never tried on a wedding dress before. I don't want to look like a potato. <laughs> Community nurse Gemma is travelling to the boutique with her friends Erica in the front seat and Anne-Marie in the back to help her find a dress to flatter her ample bosom. Obviously, I'm self-conscious about my boobs. You'd be fine, because these dresses are made for bigger girls, aren't they? But it depends on if they've come across my size bust before. She's marrying Marshall in eight months' time. Gemma, she's absolutely beautiful. She's funny. She's very loving, very caring, very supportive. There isn't one particular thing I love about Gemma. I love everything about her. Does she still take your breath away? Oh, yeah, she does. My, my breath is gone. How much have you rammed in this? Right, well, we've got no iPad today, then, for our appointments. So you know how I never panic? Mm. Internally, I'm panicking because we have a bride who's coming in. Her size is going to be dictated by her bust. Right. There is a double L cup. A double L? Double L. I mean, I can't even visualise the size of them. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, yeah. L. <gasps> oh, wow, that's going to be a tall order. Hello, ladies. Hello. Oh, all very colourful. Yes. <laughs> How are you? Nervous. <laughs> I'm standing here with these double L's in front of me. I am a little bit panicked. Are we going to have any dresses that will fit Gemma comfortably? So how old were you when you had to start wearing a bra, if you don't mind me asking? I was 11. 11. I was a 38E. <gasps> Gee whiz. So right from such a young age, you've been... Yeah. I would say blessed, but I don't know if I'd feel it was a blessing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> they appeared overnight, it felt like. Um, and going through school, it was difficult because being picked on, especially by the boys, they sort of notice. I think that's where the confidence issue started and the weight piled on. I've got a condition called multiple sclerosis, uh, which makes me chronically tired. And then being a mommy working full time, the relationship with the children's father failed. So confidence wise, I took a nose dive. Okay, ladies, open your eyes. Wow. <laughs> it's different. So to see myself in it and think, oh, OK, yeah. I don't know, there's some... They're not... There's some, yeah. Mm, I can tell by your face. I sort of felt my shoulders tensing and it just didn't feel right. I'm not in love with it. It's not blown you away. Well, that's not the one then, is it? What a disappointment. I felt sure this dress was going to look fabulous, but, you know, it just was awful. And so now I can see that confidence ebbing away. Loving this one. Excited about this one, eh? Yeah, I'm excited about this one as well. We already know that Gemma needs to wear a bra on her wedding day, so let's go with something a little bit more simplistic and with a strap, more importantly. OK, stop and up. OK, open your eyes. Hmm. What do you think? I don't feel excited about it. I caught my face and I didn't see the twinkle. I didn't feel myself lift. There is a wild card in the back cupboard, of course. Mm -hmm. With Gemma standing in this dress, we are losing her by the second. We need to get another dress on her right now. So, eyes closed, Gemma. There is method in my madness with this wild card. Everything has been princessy. Have we pulled the right shape dresses for her? This dress will let us know. I bet this is a new one for you, keeping your eyes closed, getting, having someone dress you. It is. It's quite daunting, considering my job. I'm used to sort of stripping people off and, you know, exposing them and we, getting them back dressed. You now we feel quite vulnerable, so I know how they feel. We have been known to do it with a blindfold, but then someone said, oh, it's not the first time I've been naked in a blindfold. It was like, no, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> too much. That's too, definitely not me. Too <laughs> much, too much. And oh, up. So I knew the girls had seen what I liked, what I hadn't liked, and they wanted to try something totally different. It was really daunting. Open your eyes. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not how I was thinking it would feel. Yeah. Um, no. Oh, no, this stress. Uh, mm, it's not Gemma's dress at all. We need to fix this situation right now. OK, after you, my lovely. This next dress is perfect for Gemma. It is quite big for you. Yeah. I mean, you could probably go down a couple of dress sizes in this one. OK. Oh, you look like... What's the matter? <laughs> What's the matter? Come on, spill it <laughs> I think all I'm out. just overwhelmed. Spill it all out to me. What's making you feel quite overwhelmed? I'm very self-conscious. I've had children. I've put on weight. Um, and... When I met Marshall, you know, I never thought somebody would love me, to, you know, especially to marry me. And um, just the reality now of we're doing this. <laughs> and I want to prove to myself that I am still Gemma, the girl that I remember from many years ago, that she's still in there, ready to come out and show herself again. And not be hiding away. <laughs> I love that! <sighs> oh, sweetheart. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just perfect. Yeah. What do you what do you see when you look in the mirror? I see me. <laughs> I see a woman. I see positivity. <laughs> I feel special. <laughs> Slash I, I love it. I love it. That dress is my dress. It was the one that sort of made me see me again. Marsha proposed to me who I am now, and I'm gonna wear the dress how I am now, because I'm happy with who I am now. Oh, does that mean we've got a question? Oh, I don't know, Gemma? This is my dress. Hey! <laughs> oh, Gemma! Today has been overwhelming, today has been a whirlwind, today has been frightening, and it's actually been the best day of my life so far. It's, it was just magical. <laughs> Gemma has returned. She's back. Yes. Gemma has seen herself for the first time in a lot of years and is accepting herself. I'm just delighted.